What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create connections using feed through logs option. Okay, so feed through logs option first released in Revit 2020. So if you are using Revit 2019 below, you will not be able to see this option. So it only starts in Revit 2020. Okay, so that's what I have heard. I don't have Revit 2019, but if you have 2019, you can uh, go check it out. Okay, so, yep. So in this exercise, what we are going to do is we're going to uh, create circuits and review the feed-through lugs as a connection type. And then panel schedules will be used to display the difference between the connection types. And then circuit numbering will be set up to suit the feed-through lugs. Okay, so we are going to do what we have done during our past uh, exercises on our electrical design. So we're going to add the equipment, electrical equipment, we're going to create circuits. Okay, and then I'm going to show you again how to use your uh, system browser. Okay, let's do this. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, let me just undo some of the steps here because I already did this for the sake of the exercise. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another panel to this area here. Okay, so I'm going to open the electrical room here, which is just a cutaway view of this area. So let me open uh, electrical room. Okay, and then I'm going to use LP1 here as my model so i'm going to click that right click and then create similar and then i'm going to put heat uh, put it here and then i'm going to press space bar so that the mounting is the same as lp1 and db1 so i'm going to place it there and then modify now let's change this so let's just call this lp2 okay so what i'm going to do is from my lighting one dash lighting I want to connect this uh, lighting fixtures to that panel there. So just select the lighting fixtures. And we know this already from our previous exercises that you can create the system from here by clicking power to create a power circuit. Just click that. And then you just need to select here um, LP2. So that is where we want to connect the lighting fixtures. Okay, and then for this connection, I'll be using here a breaker. Okay, so we have two options here, which is feed through lugs. That's the other option. But for this one, I'll select first a uh, breaker and then I'll select here uh, modify. Okay, now um, if we're going to check our system browser here, you can see that our LP2 uh, circuit has been created, which is circuit number one with these lighting fixtures under it okay so this circuit number one is connected to our lp2 so if i'm going to select our lp2 which is this one and then go to our properties you can see that okay so these are the main properties of our uh, lp2 and for you to be able to select the feed through lugs from the connection type aside from breaker so make sure the feed through lugs feature here is checked because if this is not checked you will not be able to uh, select feed through lugs as a connection type okay so just make sure this is checked anyway after that so after we create our circuit connecting to our LP2, let's go to the analyze and then create panel schedule, which is what we did last time, right? So let's select panel schedule, LP-2. Why, uh, why is it there's no LP1 and DB1 here? Because panel schedule for those panels are already created. So that's why only LP2 here is available. So let's just select here, okay, make sure LP2 is checked, okay? And there you go. Right, so this is now our LP-2. And then this is the property of our LP-2 with uh, circuit number one created. And then the total loads and the other properties here. One thing that you will notice here that there is no supply yet from this uh, panel. So it's empty. 
So what we are going to do next is, okay, so let's go back to our um, project browser and then let's open up our LP-1. What I want to do is I want to connect my LP-2 panel to my LP-1. So as you can see, my LP-1 here is being supplied by DB1. Okay, so this LP1 is connected to DB1, to our distribution uh, box 1. Okay, so now let's connect our LP2 to LP1. So how to do that? So to do that, make sure you still have uh, available slots on your uh, LP1. Okay, because if you don't have any slots, you will not be able to add it. Okay. So let's do this. So it's obviously that there are some available slots here, right? So 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12. So you have uh, slots available for our LP1 to connect our LP2. Now let's go to our electrical room and then let's click LP2. And then from the create system, let's click power to create power circuit. And here, we are going to assign it on LP1. So make sure LP1 is selected. Again, for this one, I'll just use a breaker here. Okay. And then I'll just select here, modify. That's it. And let's check our system browser. So from our system browser, you can see that our DB1 here is created, updated. LP1. You expand that. Okay, so there's our uh, circuits. So we have the circuits. Okay, so from uh, circuit 7, 9, 11, so you can see that our panel is connected to that circuit. So our LP2 is uh, supplied from LP1, which LP1... Uh, supplied to db1 so if we are going to check again our lighting panel 2 you click that so you will notice now here that our lp2 is being supplied from lp1 so they are now connected and if you are going to select lp-1 here you can see that our lp2 now is added okay here including the total loads of the LP2. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to edit now the connection. Okay. So to edit the connection, I'm going to go to my, uh, let's go to the properties. And oh no, let me open the floor plan again. Okay. And then let's select our LP2. Move the slider down. And then for the connection, let's go to the electrical circuits. And then let's change here the connection type. So let's make that breaker. Let's select uh, feed through lugs. Okay, and then just click outside. Now let's go check it out again. Let's check our panel here. So LP1, so as you can see, our LP2 now has been removed from the branch panel LP1. But if you are going back to LP-2, you can see that again, it is now connected to LP1 and the circuit comes back to our LP2, okay? We, because we selected a feed through lugs. Now, if you want to continue the number from LP1, like this one, so you want to continue the number uh, up to 12, okay? So up to 12, you want to continue here on our LP2. So what you can do is you can select the panel, the LP2 panel, and then move the slider down. And then look for the option here. Wait, where is that option? Okay. 
this one, the circuit numbering option. Okay, so when using feed through logs, determines whether the selected uh, panel will continue numbering circuits from the last circuit on the parent panel. So the parent panel of LP2 is LP1. So what is the last number circuit of our LP1? The last circuit number there is number 12. So if you are going to select this one as uh, continue numbering, so you will notice what will happen here on circuit number 2 or on our LP2 branch panel. You click that and apply. So you will now see this. Okay. So the circuit numbering now continues from the last circuit number shown on the panel schedule for LP1. Okay. So basically that's how you create connections using feed through lugs. So if you have your, uh, so you can uh, customize more your uh, design. Okay. So it's very useful. So as panel boards are connected, the connection type can be set to altered afterwards to suit the changing in electrical design. So the connection type is also reflected in our schedules, providing an accurate picture of the total loads on each panel okay and feed through lugs also allows designer to create a more accurate account of the connections and electrical distribution in a project okay so hopefully this video helps thank you for watching have a nice day